If you want to be the most elite player in Star Wars Battlefront 2, then this is the video for you. Might as well learn from the best. Hey guys, I'm the Great Jedi and welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to hook swing like a pro, how to counter your opponents when they try and use these techniques against you, and I'm even going to explain to you why these common jump hook swings aren't as good as you think, as well as why they are so overrated. So to start us off, if you're new to Battlefront 2 and you're wanting to learn how to duel, I would highly recommend you going over to the dueling video first and then coming back to this one once you're done because you will be a much better duelist knowing those types of tips and tricks. This video is for those that have seen that one and want to learn even more about certain maneuvers. So if you want to see my dueling video, the link will be in the description. And for those that have seen my dueling video, you may be wondering why I didn't mention the so-called hook swing. Well, actually, I kind of did. I just didn't call it hooks. All hook swings are, are getting behind your opponents to hit them, which I've mentioned. It's basically just wrapping around your opponents, which comes in many different forms and can even be comboed. A hook starts out when you're facing your opponent eye to eye, and then you hook your opponent with your camera movement by rotating so many degrees. 180 degrees is the most common, but you can even do it at 90 degrees, and I'll even get more into that later on in the video. Hook swings and parries are like the two moves I use the most effectively against my opponents. And let me say, once you master the movement, woo, boy, do I even have to say any more. And if you think they're complicated, don't think that way at all because I'm going to break it down nice and simple. But before I do, let's go over all the different hook swings that you can perform. There's dodging hooks, side hooks, ability hooks, and even what hook swings are most commonly known for, jump hook swings, where even that opens up to a jump right side hook, a jump left side hook, and even a base jump hook, which believe it or not, is the most commonly known one. And when you say hook swing, it seems that the most inexperienced players that know of the hook swing only know of this one attack being a hook swing, and that one swing being the base jump hook, which looks a lot like this. Those players aren't understanding the full concept of a hook in Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is completely fine, but hopefully this in-depth tutorial video will clear things up. So as a quick clear recap, just in case what I said was confusing to you, there's three different categories where you can perform hook swings. There's dodging hooks, ability hooks, and jump hooks. Under the dodging hooks, that leads to side hooks and even a back hook, which I'll explain on how to do in just a minute. As for ability hooks, it's exactly how it sounds. Some hero and villains will have specific abilities that you can control, like Ray's Dash Strike or even Grievous's Claw Rush, and those type of abilities can even allow you to do a hook attack, and under the jump hooks, that even leads into its own individual side and back hooks. And now that we know that there's a few different hook attacks that include dashing hooks, ability hooks, and jumping hooks, this is how you perform them. So starting off with the more basic ones, but what I consider to be the most effective, we have the dodging hook swings where you can hook your opponent to the right, left, and the back. To hook them on the right side, you have to dash diagonally forward and then to the right with the left stick. And towards the end of your dash, you want to turn to your left towards your opponent about 90 degrees, followed by an attack. And this is called a right hook, or if you want to be more specific, a right dodge hook. If you want to hook your opponent on the left side, you want to dash diagonally forward and to the left, and towards the end of your dash, you want to turn to your right towards your opponent about 90 degrees, followed by an attack, just like you're seeing on screen, and that is called a left hook. And as for the most effective hook swing, in my opinion, you got to dodge towards your opponent, and as you're in the end of your dash, you want to start turning your camera in a 180 degree movement, that way your body is facing your opponent, and then you can punish them with an attack. But you want everything to flow, so practice it and you'll start to do it all at once. That is called a hook swing. That is the base, most common, and even the most effective hook swing. Although a lot of people don't see that as a hook swing for some reason, even though it is because you are literally hooking your opponent. Now that we got dodging hook swings out of the way, let's dive right into the most commonly known hook swings, jump hooks. In fact, all a jump hook is, is a jump attack, and that's the first step. Once you jump and you're in the air, you want to start pressing the attack button while you're in the air. Sounds simple, right? Exactly. The hardest part of hitting your opponent in the air in a jump attack is the timing. Just practice landing jump attacks on your opponent while in the air. But as you're practicing, you'll start to realize things, like that you can't do an attack on your way down from the jump, 
you can only do it on your way up to the peak or at the peak of your jump, and that you can even jump farther when you swing. And after practicing that, you may say that's no hook swing, but let me explain. All a hook swing is, is a timed jump attack while moving your camera in a 180 degree movement. In other words, you're hooking your opponent with your camera movement. You're basically wrapping around them while swinging, and with this, you can actually hit them in the back, which is the base jump hook swing. But you can also hook around your opponent on the left or right side, which leads to you pulling off jump side hook attacks. But just remember, it's only considered a hook if you're looking at your opponent in the eye and then turn to their side or back while punishing them. Now, the key to pull off these jump hook swings is that you need to jump towards your opponent. But you have to find the sweet spot because each and every hero and villain is slightly different. They all have different jump heights, swing speeds, and even different movement maneuverability. You don't want to just jump too high or too low because if you jump too high, you'll miss your target. And if you jump too low, you won't be able to jump far enough to really get behind or to the side of your opponent. So what you want to do is just barely press the jump button as you go towards your opponent with the analog stick. Although, you don't want to just do it too light, but you also don't want to just keep it too pressed down. Try it and you'll find the sweet spot. But as you do that, and you, you'll see that your character is getting closer and closer to your opponent, that's when you want to quickly turn your camera around 180 degrees to strike your opponent. So you want to do a small jump towards your opponent, and once you get close, you'll want to start turning your camera around while pressing the attack button. That way by the time you turn around and it did your swinging animation, it hit the opponent and you're facing him once again, ready to do the same thing over again or even parrying him if he tries to attack. Now if you're trying these jump hook swings and it's not working, it's probably because your jumping and camera movement timing is off. It will be that or your swing speed is off. But chances are your swing speed will be just right after a little bit of practice. So really try and focus on how high or low your jumps are and remember that you want to turn your camera right when you're at the end of your dash that way right when you turn around you're looking right at their back what may help this though is trying to jump a little higher make sure that you're slightly above your opponent because your character will go back down to the ground but remember you can't swing on your way back down so be sure to time it perfectly you can jump right above your opponent's head if you're farther away or if you're closer you can just barely tap the jump button while turning around and remember these jump hook swings work most of the time because of the bad hit detection so use it to your advantage give yourself that extra space also you can do them at all different distances so Practice what distance you need for each character and what works best. For example, Yoda will be different than Maul. All right. It's also like what I was saying. If you're farther, I would recommend jumping slightly higher when you're barely above your opponent. But if you're closer, go around, meaning just barely tap the jump button while you turn right away. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, let me know and I'll try my best to explain it in the comments. But it's like I said, each character is different. For example, let's take Yoda. He's great for hook swings up close because it's very hard for Yoda to hook swing from a distance compared to Anakin or Luke because of the way his jump is designed. Now if you're doing everything right and you're nailing them in offline and arcade or instant action and you know the jumping is still clunky and everything feels staticky when you perform this attack you know and it's just for some reason not going through smoothly don't worry it's not you and sadly you'll just have to play like that or not play it at all because that's because of the horrible server lag and terrain issues. It's horrible, I know. Hopefully the majority of the player base doesn't run into that, but for those that do, and I know there's a lot of you guys that do run into that, just know you're not alone. That also includes me on PlayStation, I feel you. I even get it on PC sometimes as well, but most of the time it's at least doable on PC and it runs a lot smoother. But enough of that, let's get right into how to do a jump side hook attack. As far as how to do a right jump hook attack, You'll want to jump just how you did for the jump hook, but instead of going directly towards your opponent with the analog stick, you want to go slightly diagonally to the right and then completely go right. Just remember this is with the left stick, but as you do that, you have to turn your camera about 90 degrees to your left while pressing the attack button. Well, actually it's a little more than 90 degrees, but you'll still want to go a little bit past your opponent. That way your character will hit him and you'll be facing him ready to do another attack. And while practicing this, you'll kind of see your character like drift in the air. Um, that's why you actually have to go right on your left move analog stick because at that point you're already turning your camera and looking at your opponent. And to do a left jump hook attack, you'll want to do the same thing as you did for the right side jump hook attack. But instead of turning your camera to the left 90 degrees, 
you want to go ahead and turn it to the right. And instead of going slightly diagonally to the right with your move stick, you want to go slightly diagonally to the left and then could go completely left as you're keeping the center of your camera on your opponent and that's the key. Just don't lose that opponent. Always have your eyes on them when doing these side hooks and that about does it for the jump hook swings. Now onto the ability hooks. These are performed exactly as they sound. You literally just want to wrap around your opponent in that same 180 degree U-turn fashion. For example, raise dash strike, you can be facing your opponent and you can activate that ability, but right when you pass your opponent, you can make a quick 180 degree movement to knock down your opponent. Same thing with Grievous' Claw Rush or Kenobi's Defensive Rush. It's all the same idea. You'll just notice a big difference in hitboxes. Like seriously, the Claw Rush hitbox is really ridiculous. But now that we've talked about all the different types of hook swings and how to perform them, let's talk about where you can practice them, what is needed or helpful to perform them, combos, and even effectiveness. So to start off with some quick settings that can help you perform these hook swings, sensitivity is a big one. I do believe it is possible to pull these swings off at around 60 or 65 sensitivity, although the higher sensitivity that you are, the easier it's going to be. So personally, I use and would recommend 100 sensitivity. Now I completely understand if you aren't able to do 100 sensitivity, so what I did to work my way up and what I would recommend you guys do is to stay what you're at right now, so let's say you're at 35, but then go ahead and up it at, up at 5 to like 40, right? Practice with that and once you feel comfortable, move it up 5 again, so then you'd be at like 45 and then rinse and repeat in increments of 5 all the way up till you get 100. Now, if you take a break in between, like, you know, increasing your sensitivity, you may have to go back a little bit, but for the most part, you'll start to get used to it over time with some practice. Another setting I would recommend you doing while doing these maneuvers, if you're on controller, is to turn off aim assist, because if you leave it on, it may be a little bit more uh, constricted in the aspect of your camera movement. So, I mean, you can obviously still definitely perform these attacks with aim assist on because I do it all the time just because I forget to change it in my settings most of the time when I duel, but I have seen it help me out when I do turn it off. As for how and where you can practice these attacks, well, let me just start off with the most obvious thing. If you have a friend to play with, practice with them in split screen arcade, or if it's an online friend, get into a private lobby in showdown and practice. And if you don't know how to get into a private lobby with your friends, don't worry, I have a video on that and the link is in the description. Uh, but back to the not so obvious stuff, I would recommend practicing the actual movement first in like offline arcade or instant action, just so that way you get the actual uh, sensitivity and movement down when it comes to jump swinging and rotating 180 degrees. Once you got that down, then it's time to work on your distance and the timing for each hero and villain, and that's when I would recommend the two hero modes, HVV and Hero Showdown. I would say HVV for when you're first starting out, that way you can constantly practice that same movement over and over again and keep on respawning. But there's also a lot of variables. Sometimes you'll just get an enemy team that just uses blasted heroes. What are the chances, right? You'd be surprised, right when you want people to be savers, that's when you'll start finding nothing but blasters, or at least that's my luck. But as Kenobi says, in my experience there's no such thing as luck. So yeah, it definitely depends when it comes to HVV but it's great when you're first starting out. Trying out the differences between heroes and mastering your movement is a great way to go. Although, once you start to feel like you got the movement down and you want to start practicing it in a bit more controlled environment, I would highly recommend you start playing on Hero Showdown, but don't just play. Really try and practice. I found the best way is just to tell yourself that you're going to lose the next three games and do nothing but hook swings especially those jump ones since most people find those to be the hardest to pull off. And while practicing, you're going to miss a lot, and you may also hit some as well, but really just try and focus on your sweet spot for each and every Saber user. Once you got that down, you can start practicing combos and using the right hook swing at the right time. For example, depending on the play style that you're up against, you'll start to see certain patterns and know which one is great against which opponent and which ones you shouldn't do because they're easily punished. Which now leads us to our next topic, how effective are the hook swings? Well actually they are really effective, especially the base dodging hook swings. That's my personal favorite because you're getting the most amount of upside with little risk. And I say that because you do the extra damage from hitting them from behind and, and in order to get them from behind you dash. And in the middle of your dash you are completely immune to saber attacks and abilities. So 
dash hooks and even ability hooks are great and really effective. Just be careful with those ability hooks because you can still get hit by other abilities and can get ragdolled and punished, so I'd recommend activating those when you're really close to an enemy um, because a lot of enemies aren't expecting that. So all you gotta do is just go and then turn to hit them and that way they don't have any time to use an ability on you. Although, jump hook swings are a completely different story. In fact, I see them used way more than what they should be because there's a lot of risk involved in those maneuvers. They are really overrated in my opinion. The risk of that move is that you're in the air and you're vulnerable. You can't block, so that means you're immune to attacks and even abilities. I do understand that sometimes the game will bug out and the ability may not work and if you get your timing right when you're in the middle of your attack and you know they use their ability and it's not supposed to work on you but in reality that just doesn't happen 100% of the time with my tests and I really wouldn't rely on that I personally like to rely on my skill and the chances of you timing that right even with them activating the ability and you landing the attack are so slim I don't even think I've ever seen that happen not even mentioning even like me doing it you know I don't care how skilled you are that just doesn't happen plus they are easily countered because the opponent can see you jumping towards them from a mile away. Obviously this does depend on how far away when you perform your jump hook attack, but let me just say when you're up against a skilled player like me, you're not going to be able to get a hook swing that close because people like to be at a safe enough distance or they'll just punish you. And all they have to do to counter a hook swing at a little distance is dash back. In fact, when they do that, they're looking at your back, which leaves you vulnerable for an attack unless, of course, you turn really quickly to block it, but at that point, you better hope your feet are already on the ground so you can block. Another downside to the jump hook swing is that when you're jumping towards your opponent, all they have to do is swing. Yeah, you, you may get the attack on them, but they just got a, an attack on you, and depending on who that is, that, not, that might not be such a great call. For example, let's say I'm Luke trying to hook swing a Dooku with upgraded star cards. That Dooku will do more damage because that's his strength, his damage output. So in that case, you'll be taking more damage than what you'd be dealing. So basically what I'm saying is, is to try not to overuse the jump hook swing on your opponents uh, that know what they're doing and if your opponent is end up using these jump hook swings against you, all you gotta do to counter them is just press the attack button to do the damage back or you can just dash back or even dash to the side or depending on their distance you can even use an ability that can ragdoll them and then you can even punish them from there. For example, if I'm a Kylo player um, and there's an Anakin just trying to jump hook me, I'll dash back or dash to the side and freeze him. Then he's vulnerable to attacks. Plus, if you have a high sensitivity you can just turn around to block it, but that goes for all hook swings. Now, don't take what I'm saying wrong and think that these jump hook swings are completely useless because they definitely aren't. Uh, they definitely have their uses and times to pull them off. It all depends on the situation. For example, let's say I'm a Luke wanting to hook swing this defensive Dooku player and I know, he's, I know that he knows how to counter it. So, let's say I really got him low and he's just one hit away and I have some health and I can take a hit. So I have the mentality of being like, okay, I'll take the hit and the win if he decides to punish me with a basic attack. He'll hit me, but I'll kill him because he's low and if he decides not to hit me, which would be the smart decision and just dash, then I know I'm wasting his dodge and I could follow up with something else. You see what I'm saying? There's definitely a use for it and an actual strategy to it, even if you don't get the hit. I'm just saying that the jump hook swing isn't the right one to use over the other hook swing maneuvers most of the time. It is a very small window when you want to be using that over the other ones compared to most playstyles. Again, they can still be great. For example, these attacks are great when you have a block spammer or a super defensive player that doesn't know how to punish these attacks and you could just, you know, jump hook around them over and over again with no repercussions and they won't even know what hit them. But if you try and pull this on a defensive player that knows what they're doing, uh, if it could do some damage, which can honestly be really annoying to go against those defensive players that know how to punish these types of attacks because they basically roll that out and you have to kill them some other way, which can be hard sometimes, and a lot of the times it just comes down to patience. Now, a quick side note because I know a lot of you guys wonder why I don't perform jump hook swings that often. 
Well, I pretty much just answered it. It's super easy to counter, and plus the surfer lag doesn't make it much easier. It doesn't feel very smooth at all when I'm on PlayStation 4, although when I am on PC, it's a lot different, and you guys have seen it. I mean, I like to have fun with it. I like to raise the bar, if you know what I mean. I'm talking style points. I'm talking 360 and 720 degree jump hook swing combos minimum. And speaking of combos, let's get into some of those combos that you can perform when doing a jump hook swing or hook swings in general. So really quick, you can really combo with any Saber user. What I found being the best way if you get a successful hook swing on your opponent is a follow up with some type of dash or ragdoll effect. For example, uh, if you're, let's say you're Luke Skywalker, right? You can hook, repulse, and push. Or if you wanna keep it fast paced, you can just go ahead and hook and then push, or hook and then rush. And if you're Grievous, you can hook and claw rush. Or if you're Ray, you can hook and dash strike. And if you're Kenobi, you can hook and defensive rush. Or if you're Yoda, you can hook and dash strike. Or Vader, you can hook and force choke. You know, that one's definitely a deadly combo, if, if I may add. Um, but if, or if you're Maul, you can hook and dash strike. You know what I mean? Um, or spin attack, Not he doesn't have dash strike, that's race. I mean, I can go on and on, and I believe you guys get the point, but if you are interested in more combos, be sure to let me know, and maybe I can add some of these in a future tips and tricks video. Also, really quick, a few pointers if you are starting out and don't know much about the jump hook swings, and you're wanting to know what characters you should start out trying, I would recommend Yoda and Grievous for the shorter distance jump hook swings, but as for the longer distance hook swings, I would recommend Luke, Anakin, Dooku, Maul, Rey, and Kai. Kylo. Plus, another tip as you're practicing this is if you're doing a base jump hook swing, if you hold the camera steady continuing to look at your opponent through the entire swinging animation, you can actually get both hits to register with the saber animation. Now this does not happen all the time, but it definitely does happen quite often if you can pull it off. Although it does seem like the second hit doesn't do the right damage, but it's still a good tip to know for those weak or defensive enemies that you need to pick off that extra bit of health. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this hook swing video. If you did enjoy it, please consider liking the video if you liked it or dislike it if you disliked it. But if any of you guys have any questions, comments, or constructive criticism for me, please put them all in the comments down below because I do read and respond to them. Seriously, some people don't ask me questions because they don't think I'm going to answer them or they don't want to bother me. But come on, what's the worst that can happen? Me not answer? Come on, man. Remember, I'm here to help you guys out. Also, remember that there's always room for improvement that can be made. That includes all of us duelists and even this video. So be sure to let me know what I can do better for all those future how-tos, tips and tricks, and all that other good stuff. And if you are interested in those future how-tos, tips and tricks, Battlefront 2 in general, just everything Star Wars, or even just want to help me out, please consider sharing, liking, and subscribing while hitting that notification bell down below so you never miss a video. Plus, I also stream on Twitch, so if you prefer that platform, Go over there. It's free. Follow me. And if any of you have any other tips for hook swings out there that you can give, be sure to do so in the comments as well because there's tons of different tips and different strategies out there so others may learn from the comment section as well. It's a very big topic and I believe I got all the basics, but trust me, you'd be surprised how much you can learn in addition to the video just by reading the comment section. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't let anyone, and I mean anyone, steal your joy. And may the force be with you, always.